about we don't go back to Hanover and stay here instead? And how would I survive? Hunt? Harvest? Forage? People have survived here for... Um, <gasps> Applesauce. Why lock any doors? I can't imagine they have a problem with punks and hoodlums. The sign says they're closed, but I thought maybe they had a memorial service for the accident in the mine. On July 24th, in the village church. For something that happened 20 years ago? The telegraph is out of order. Well, there goes my plan. N-O-S-O-S. -S. This was two years ago, but the notice is still up. How can it take two years to get something like that fixed? If they couldn't afford it? Or couldn't get anyone to come fix it? Well, this place really is off the map. Here be dragons. Or dragons, I guess. The ferry route is no longer operating. Rats! Mrs. Fretland already informed me in her letter. I know. Still warrants a resounding rats. I wonder why it stopped running. Look around. How many people live here? 20? 30? Uh... A boat! Teddy! Hot dog! This is our ticket out of here! Not without Betty. Besides, there's a hole in this boat. It'll sink before it gets ten yards from shore. It's curious. The state of the boats. It's like they stopped taking care of them. Seems short-sighted. How would they fish? Or get anywhere at all? There's no damage to the rope. I don't know what that means. Nobody cut it. I guess the knot could have unraveled on its own. Didn't you say you used a sailor's knot? I'm a scholar, not a fisherman. So who took our boat? A ghost? I believe the tide took our boat. If you say so. But then who were you chasing after last night? A shadow? I don't know. It was probably all in my head. this? Remnants of the mining operation. What? Mine? Remember, I, I told you yesterday. There was a mine here, but it closed down 20 years ago. I know, Edward. I was just checking for a sense of humor. Still nowhere to be found. What did they use this for? Bringing the ore down from the mine before it was loaded onto boats. So, diamonds? Gold? Or just boring old silver. Iron ore. Or what? Rock, which contains iron I know. deposits that... I... <sighs> okay, Edward. I don't understand why they just leave this here. Like an altar to adversity. It's creepy. Rustic superstition. Perhaps they believed they'd attract bad luck if they moved it. Where do these tracks lead? To the mine. Where else would they go? I don't know. A castle up in the mountains where the frost giants live? Uh...
No trespassing. I've had enough adventure on this side of the fence. Besides, they wrote no trespassing for a reason. You're such a terrible bore, Teddy Bear. I'll wager a thousand clams. You'll jump this gate at some point, if you believe Betty's on the other side. Frederick Fretland. Who are these traitors he refers to? What now? We've looked everywhere. There really doesn't seem to be anyone around. Maybe we missed something. An important clue. How about the general store? We haven't been inside yet. It looked deserted, but worth another look, I guess. What if everyone turned into a pebble? And they can't speak. Is that? Lizzie, come here. It's Betty's hat. She was here. She could still be in there. Betty? Uh, Betty! Are you sure, Edward? I mean, it's just a hat. Is it even a hat? I'm I not know sure my I... sister's hat, Lizzie. I have to get inside. What about the breaking and entering part? I could care less what they call it. Here's an open window. You seem eager to break the law. I approve. It won't budge. Nah, don't be a milk toast. Well, it's stuck. Attaboy, Teddy. You can do this. I can't believe I'm actually breaking. Whoops, Daisy. Oh my, Teddy. <laughs> You're such a sap. Edward Joe Carter. You're a panty. World traveler. Cat burglar. A cat burglar would, by definition, enter a building Jeez. on a higher floor. The state of this place. Oh, Betty. Edward. I hope you weren't here when... Is this... blood? Not necessarily human blood. Well, that's all right then. What does it say? Barn murder? Someone murdered a barn? Barn means child. And murder, that's... Child murder. Edward. They murdered a child? Someone thought so. Probably the same someone who vandalized the store. It's been cut. Why? To remove someone from the picture. Well, that's just rude. It's from the opening of the mine in 1897. That's Frederick, Johann's brother. And the boy could be the younger brother who died. Frederick clearly did not want anything to do with his twin brother. old boy anyway how's a hat going to help us who knows what else is in here there could be more clues all right okay everything's jake we made it into the store i'm sure we'll find a way through that door out of order why hasn't it been fixed perhaps there wasn't much demand for it anymore S. O. These were never sent. How long have they been piling up? I received Mrs. Fretland's letter in June. And they received my letter from July. A couple of months. Perhaps the world forgot about Grovic.
What are you doing? Looking for keys. Your life of crime continues. The keys are all gone. Some thieving thieves beat you to it. Rascals. There's a note. Is it written in Viking runes? What does it say? It's from Simon. Casa. I don't know what that word means. Yai put it means I put. Nurkel is key. He put the key in the casa? Casa. I wish I had my dictionary. The note's addressed to his father. So the key was moved. But where to? Somewhere safer. Or more convenient. Can we really trust your translations? You only started studying a month ago. I spent the summer reading, and I had a lot of free time on the ocean voyage. Come on, how much could you possibly pick up in a few months? You know my mind, it's a sponge. Why would Frederick keep a list of what he calls traitors? What did they do to him? Cross him in some way. Why else keep a shit l a list of undesirables? So that's what it means. Cash register. You're a genuine gangster now, old fruit. Don't worry. If you get busted, I'll come visit you in the big house. Wasn't there supposed to be a key? Here it is. It is her hat. Teddy, uh, I'm not Betty sure that's... Betty was here, and not long ago. Okay, but if that is her hat, what's it doing in a locked storeroom? Another breadcrumb. That's not an answer. I know for sure she was here. That's what matters. You know best, Edward. So, what now? If this is a breadcrumb, where's the next one? There must be a reason her hat's in this room. What's that? A handwritten note. I'm not blind. What does it say, you silly goose? It's hard to read. I'm not sure my translation will be... Johan, you... Nectar. Refuse. You refuse to speak to me, so I write this letter instead. It's from Frederick Fretland to his brother. Uh, Simon did not... Bloody hell. Simon did not murder your Ruth. He was fond of his cousin. Ruth? Ruth is the daughter of Anna and Johan, which means... the little girl in the photograph at the farmhouse. Oh, Edward. The Fretland girl was murdered. This is simply awful. Simon was working at the farm while I tended to the store. I would have seen him had he passed on the way up to the cliffs. They thought Simon killed Ruth. His own cousin. Ruth was... What's that word? Playing. Ruth was always playing on the rocks below the church. She must have fallen by accident. The note ends there. 
Frederick never finished it. And Johann never read it. Not that it would have made a difference. If Johann thought... The mob showed up for Simon. His father would have tried to protect him. September 17th. You would have been here, Betty. Rocks below the church. Isn't the church right above us? Edward, come look at this. That's the cliff. Right there. The one in the note? I bet you a million clams. Where? See for yourself. I guess that could be where... Let's check it out. No, Lissy, wait. This doesn't concern us. A little girl died. We're staying in her home, for God's sake. Are you completely without heart? Get yourself up here, Edward Harden, right this minute. Come on, it's an easy climb. This looks very dangerous. Well, you're a big boy. Start acting like it. It's not Mount Everest. <clears throat> I don't know about this. <sighs> Whoops-a-daisy. What is this? Where little Ruth died. You're being morbid. And this is a distraction. I'm here for Betty, not because some girl Edward, got herself... you insensitive brute. You're like the Tin Woodman, no heart. You know, you've grown cold and mean in that horrid study of yours. With only books and bugs to keep you company for years and years and years. There are other people in this world, you know. It's not all about you. You're going to do this. Uh, please look at me when I'm talking to you. Anyway, you're going to do this. If not for Ruth, then for us. We're going to figure out what happened to the poor girl. Together. Pat's been here a while. Didn't you say it happened over a month ago? You'd think her family would have replaced it with fresh flowers. Is that blood? The girl could have hit her head on that rock. There would have been plenty of blood. Oh, that's awful. I think there's something behind it. Can you move the rock aside? Must be Ruth's. Where's the head? Maybe the killer also decapitates dolls. Hold on. This pin. This is old. Very old. It looks like something from the from the Viking era. We are in the land of Vikings. This could be a thousand years old. <laughs> it does not belong in a child's doll. Who cares? Ruth is dead, and you're obsessing about a rusty old pin? Let's go further up. Maybe we'll find more clues. Come on, old sport. It's not far. Can you wait just one minute so that I can catch my... breath? Huh? Did you follow the same path, Betty? Or am I just stumbling through darkness? You can see clear beyond the edge of the world. Where are you going? So, you can see clear beyond the edge of the world. Uh, one oh, second. teddy bear. <laughs> we need to take you out walking more uh, often. So, the girl fell from up here. Was pushed, you mean. Can you see where she fell? Seeing as you're so concerned about me falling out of trees, I wouldn't want to risk falling off a cliff. Hmm. 
If she fell headfirst on that rock, she'd have died instantly. Edward, honestly. You wanted to learn more. This is you learning more. She hit her head and fell into the bush where I found her doll. Happy now, Alice? I'm not. What was she doing up here in the first place? Playing? She was a child. Children play in dangerous places. There must be more to it. Let's find out where this path leads. No, absolutely not. I don't have time for this nonsense. We're running out of daylight and Betty's still... We're still out there. Lissy, slow down. I can't keep up with you. Who knows what's up there? It's not worth the risk of falling and breaking something. Lissy, are you there? Teddy. My word. Uh, look away, Lissy. Is this what happened to the villagers? They killed themselves? It's one body. Let's not jump to conclusions. What about those fresh graves at the church? There were at least half a dozen of them. Did everyone just... die? They're not necessarily connected. Oh, come on. Ugh, this is just ghastly. What made him do this? What does that say? God forgive me. Don't suicides go to hell? Isn't that what your father said when Stop. your mother drowned Don't. herself? Sorry. Who was he? One of the Fretlanders? It's not Johan or Frederick. And he's too old to be Simon. Do you think this has something to do with Ruth? Maybe she came across the hangman before she died. And it scared her. So she ran no. and... This happened later. There's some consolation in that, I guess. Maybe it's the killer. The guilt ate him up and he offed himself. That's just speculation with no basis in fact. There's nothing more to do here. I'm going back. Let the poor soul rest in peace. Does it look like he's resting in peace? You're just going to leave him hanging? You're an insensitive brute. I'm here for Betty. This is... It's tragic, but really none of my oh, concern. Betty, Betty, Betty. Always just Betty. You don't care about anyone else. What if that was me up there? Would you care then? All you do is obsess over a scarf and... and a hat and... Ugh. It's all I have of Betty. Betty, there she is again. Edward... the hanged man... he's someone. No matter what he did or didn't do, he deserves respect. Would you please just do this one decent deed? If not for me, then for yourself. Or for... For your Betty. been through much worse. Where are the Fretlands, Edward? It's been two days. If they're not back tonight... They're not coming back. Perhaps they left after their daughter died. Was murdered, you mean? Isn't that what we think happened? Perhaps she fell by accident. So you don't think it was murder? It's difficult to say with any certainty. The boy could have pushed her. You're really not helping. Can we talk about this tomorrow? I'm sorry. You're exhausted. I, I buried a corpse today, Alice. I know. I'm sorry. Why don't you sleep in the guest bedroom? 
The couch is fine. The fretlands could still come home. All right. Just don't come crying to me if you wake up with a crick in your neck. I'll be up for a while, if you feel like talking. What did you find? Someone tried to burn this. It's addressed to Mrs. Fretland. My dearest Anna. It's from her sister, Margaret. I really shouldn't. Really? How else are we going to figure out what happened? Keep reading. My dearest Anna, I miss you so very, very much. The baby is due soon, and I wish for our family to reunite before... Uh, da, da, da. It's been seven years since the dreadful incident at the mine. Can we not convince Frederick and Johann to forgive and forget? Uh, I know there are things Frederick has not told me about what they found and why they parted ways. Their grudge is tearing us all apart. Frederick won't even let me speak to half of our neighbors, accusing them of treason. Uh, he's so very angry and full of regrets. It's eating him up. And we... And we what? The rest is unreadable. Margaret reached out to her sister, but I guess it didn't work. This was written before Simon was born, but burned recently.
Do you think Simon killed Ruth? It's not important what I think. I don't know what to believe. Sometimes children do monstrous things. The two brothers married twin sisters, Anna and Margaret Taylor. That's the Grovik stave church behind them. All those hopes and dreams, ground to dust by misfortune. I almost forgot putting this aside when I lit the fire. A Christmas present to Ruth. From Simon. Simon! Simon gave that book to Ruth. But who burned it? Johan or Anna, if they believed Simon killed her. But they were friendly, right? Simon and Ruth, before... I imagine so. And we know the sisters were close. I still don't understand why the brothers had a falling out. Whatever drove a wedge between them, it was big. Johan and Frederick Fretland. Thick as thieves, before things took a turn. Don't you always say that much of our pain is self-chosen? I wonder about that. What are you doing? Betty will want these back. I don't think it's healthy. Not now, to... please. I'm exhausted. Quite the day, huh? I'm ready to pass out. Where will you sleep? Uh, I'll be up for a while. My mind's simply racing. Don't stay up late. Wake me if you hear the Fretlands arriving. And I'll keep my eyes open for any ghosts that might want to haunt you in your sleep. There are no... Hush now. Sleep. <laughs>